at least 40 years behind bars. That will be the sentence for the man who today admitted he kidnapped, suffocated, and then dismembered eight-year-old Libby Klatsky last summer in Brooklyn. Levy Aaron, barely blinking and barely audible, pleading guilty today. And now the parents of Libby Klatsky, still grieving and clearly in pain, are reacting. I went to reporter Tim Fleischer was in court. He's now in downtown Brooklyn for us. Tim. And Bill, certainly the uh, guilty plea that was entered today certainly gives some relief to Libby Gletzi's family. They don't have to endure a very painful trial. For Levy Aaron, though, it means the start of a very long prison sentence. Handcuffed and led into court, Levy Aaron was now prepared to plead guilty to murder and kidnapping in the death of eight-year-old Libby Kletsky. Did you put him in a car? He just said it. He just said it. You got to speak loud enough so I can hear you. Louder. The judge could barely hear Aaron's one-word answers to a series of questions detailing the kidnapping and murder that took place in Aaron's apartment. What did you do with that towel? Smother. Smother. The judge accepted Aaron's admissions and the plea agreement. With the promise that I will sentence the defendant on murder in the second degree to 25 years to life, and on the kidnapping, 15 years. From Libby's parents, a touching note. Today, my family has finally received some partial closure on one aspect of this nightmare. Closure does not mean we don't continue to feel the pain. Libby was allowed to walk home for the first time that July afternoon last year. He left day camp here at this borough park yeshiva heading into the tightly knit Hasidic community. Maybe the painful trial is worth it. I can, I don't know, I'm not in their shoes. Later caught on security cameras, Libby is seen approached by Levy Aaron, who is later charged with kidnapping, drugging, and killing him. Yehuda Bernstein's security cameras caught those last fateful pictures of Libby. It's a defense the lawyer would bring, um, he did this and he's not mental. It would just be continuous and the family would have to listen to all of this. and. Hopefully, they won't have to see this guy in the news anymore. The tragedy sent shockwaves through this community when it was learned that Aaron was also Hasidic. He's a sick guy. It's a pity on him that he's sick, but he does need to be kept away from children. And what are they going to do after 40 years? Levy Aaron will be sentenced August 29th. Reporting live in downtown Brooklyn, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.